How's it going, everybody? Uh, Gary Davis, Tins and Pipes. It's, uh, down here at the Corona Club. It's the, the cigar shop I go to that I was talking about yesterday. I got I got an office literally right across the street. So I come down here, I work sometimes, and do a lot of thinking. And Right now, doing a lot of thinking. Got a lot of stuff going on at work, and, uh, you know, come come down here, kind of revamp a little bit. So, anyways, uh, I was on on one of the Facebook groups, and we were discussing uh, aromatics, and uh, it's an interesting topic for me. Uh, anybody who uh, saw my video yesterday doesn't know it. I'm very, very new at this whole thing. Um, started last week, my first pipe, my first tobacco pipe last week okay so that's where I'm at uh, if you want to watch that video it's on the uh, it's on the list hey Frank what's going on good all went well okay still over there I didn't feel like hearing it over here come over and say hi I'm say hi Tim doing a video blog say what's up it's Frank are you making a post mm-hmm okay tins and pipes tins and pipes right talking on. about tobacco oh well yeah. you would know <laughs> yeah, awesome. Take care, man. Yep. Frank. So, um, we were discussing aromatics, and I haven't had a whole lot of experience with anything other than aromatics, but the one thing that I do notice is that it's not really as flavorful as I thought they were going to be. They smell a lot better than what they taste, that's for sure. Um, a guy, one of the guy on the post said, you know, he thinks aromatics is for more for the the non-smokers around you than it is for the smokers. So, um, I don't know. I think it's a fair statement, but let me kind of describe to you a little bit about what I taste with the uh, with the aromatics I have been smoking. And it's kind of a, a similar taste with all of them. It's it's kind of a, an ashy, plasticky taste. Um, I don't know if that's just because I haven't broke the pipe in, or if it's just a characteristic of the of the of the casting or the casing or whatever it is that they put on it. But uh, if anybody has anything on that they want to they want to share, uh, just leave some comments below, or or go ahead and respond with another video post. But uh, that's that's definitely one thing that I'm not enjoying. Uh, I do I taste more tobacco than I do anything else and all the Aramax that I've been smoking. I've been smoking uh, the, the house blend that I showed on my last video. I tried the um, the Devil's Holiday last night, and it was the same thing. It was just very, very mild uh, sweetness to it. I tasted more ash and more of that, yeah, the kind of aftertasty, just like you're, you're smoking a cigar so, sort of taste. Um, nothing really too sweet it wasn't like oh my gosh dude like I'm I'm chomping on a, a caramel apple right now it's or sucking on a Jolly Ranchers and I don't know if maybe that's just because of the expectation I was going into when people were saying you know aromatics taste really good because uh, you know again I, I've never done this before so so I think it didn't quite hit the expectation of what I thought they were gonna be I'm not saying that I don't enjoy it but I was expecting like this overwhelming, like like almost you're eating a, a food or something, you know, it's overwhelming taste in your mouth and I just, I don't get that with the aromatics. So I'm going to stick with them for probably about another week and just keep smoking them and, and build my palate up and then I'm going to start smoking those, uh, those old dark fires that I bought and I do remember when I smoked one bowl of that old dark fire that it did leave, it did leave, uh, a little bit of a sugary taste and on my tongue and all that so that was that was really pleasant I remember that and uh, and because I knew that it was an English and I wasn't getting uh, supposedly an, an aromatic taste then I knew what it was that I was getting into and I can enjoy the uh, the smoke a lot better when I'm smoking these and I light them up I'm, I'm waiting for that that bang that pop that like oh dude there's that that vanilla -y taste you know that creamy taste and, and I'm just not getting it so um, I don't know. It could be my taste buds. I don't know. What, what are your guys' thoughts? Let's go ahead and let me know. Uh, uh, so, so yeah, um, there's that, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else I just want to talk about. Um, I'm still, I'm really enjoying this pipe. Um, gotta relight it. 
really enjoying this fight. Oh, talk about this. Um, they turned me on to this lighter. They said this was a good pipe lighter. I don't know if it's a torch lighter. I don't know if it's a good lighter for your pipe or not. I'm really concerned about ruining the the rim on on the pipe. But the one thing that I do notice is, is that I don't have to hold an open flame over the thing and puff on it a couple times. Like I literally turn the thing on for two seconds and it's lit. The thing is just, it, it's lit, you know, so, um, so I, I notice I don't have to put a flame to my, to my pipe for that long. I don't even know if it matters. I don't know. There's another, another question I got. Torch flames, open flames, what do you guys think? And then, oh, there was something that was really cool happened to me today. So, so they're a cigar shop, right, the Corona Club. They're not a pipe shop at all. They're selling little $35 little made in China pipes, but, um, anyways, they had this lane like in the back of their their uh, their humidor, like in the back, like they just stumbled upon it. And so the lady came out and she gave it to me because she knew I was getting into into pipes because I've been talking to them about it. And uh, she's like, "Here, you can just have this." So it's uh, yeah, it's the the Sutliff. I know you guys recognize this, the uh, the Archduke. So another aromatic. Again, I tried it. No vanilla taste for me. Just Kind of that ashy, plasticky tobacco taste, and there was almost an accident. It was awesome. So, anyways, um, I'm gonna sign off. Seven minutes on this thing. Uh, again, let me know what what are the aromatics tasting you to you guys. I'm I'm gonna like, so I'm gonna give this another week, and then I'm gonna start switching over to more of the Englishes and the and the the non aromatics, and uh, give those a shot. I think I'm gonna like those a lot better. I have a feeling. I think just. Going in this with the expectation that I'm just going to get a full, fruity, vanilla flavored, like a, a vanilla party in my mouth <laughs> experience. I'm just not getting it. And I try new ones and I'm expecting that one's going to be different, but they're all just building, tasting the same to me. So, uh, anyways, let me know your thoughts down below and uh, take care, you guys. Tens and pipes.